Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's English vocabulary lesson, I wanted to talk about uh, allergies and dietary restrictions. In other words, I want to talk about how to explain to people what you can eat and what you can't eat. Myself, I am actually a vegetarian, which basically means I don't eat any meat. So for example, I don't eat, uh, I don't eat uh, beef, I don't eat pork, I don't eat seafood, I don't eat any fish, nothing. And so if I'm talking to someone, I have to, like, I need to be able to tell them, hey, here's what I can eat, here's what I can't eat, because if I don't, well, I'm going to end up with a big steak in front of me or something like that, and I don't want a steak, I can't eat it. Now, the simplest and easiest way to tell people what you can, what you cannot eat is basically to say, excuse me, I don't eat blank. So for example, oh, excuse me, I don't eat, uh, I don't eat, uh, I don't eat eggs. I don't eat peanuts. I don't eat, uh, I don't eat uh, beef. I don't eat pork. I don't eat whatever you don't eat. One thing that's important uh, in terms of the pronunciation is that if you want to sound more like a native, uh, you have to actually understand that the, the, the T in don't and the T in eat are actually not usually or not often pronounced. Often you will not pronounce them. So often, so listen if I say it quickly, listen very closely. Hey, I don't eat meat. Did you hear that? I don't eat meat. I don't eat meat. So it's almost like I don't, D-O-N, I don't eat meat. <laughs> now, if I say it slowly, if I say I don't eat meat, it just sounds very strange. It's, it's, ver it's very strange. But when you're speaking quickly, if, if someone is a native speaker, you have to be aware of that, that they're not going to say those T's. It'll sound like, hey, I don't eat meat. Do you hear? I don't eat meat. <laughs> those T's are not going to be pronounced. So if you're someone who is a little bit more of an advanced speaker, um, and the phrase, I don't eat meat, or I don't eat whatever, if that is like a very basic sentence for you, I challenge you to, uh, to, to try and say it more like a native, and not pronounce those, the T in don't, and uh, the T in, uh, in eat. Another great expression to know is say, I'm allergic to blank. So I'm allergic to peanuts. I'm allergic to, uh, I don't know, I'm allergic to milk. I'm allergic to whatever. Allergic, if you don't know this word in English, basically what it means is that if you eat this food, it will make you sick. So if you are allergic to uh, if you are allergic to milk, it means that if you drink milk, it will make you very sick and you will not feel good. If you are allergic to peanuts, if you eat a peanut, you will get very sick. One thing on pronunciation: if you are a little bit more of an advanced speaker um, and you want to really be able to pronounce this sentence like a native, um, the most important thing you want to focus on is the pronunciation of the word "to." So if you are a basic speaker, someone who is not very fluent, might say something like, uh, um, I'm allergic to blank. So listen, it's, they're saying to. Now, native speakers will often say something more like a t. So listen if, when I say, I want you to listen to the to. Uh, let me get in the right zone. Okay, got it. I'm allergic to meat. So notice that, or I'm allergic to, I'm allergic to milk. I'm allergic to, to, I don't know. I'm allergic to peanuts. Do you hear that? I'm not saying to, I'm saying t. I'm allergic to whatever it is. So that's important. A lot of native speakers will speak like that, especially if they have, um, especially if they have like an American accent or Canadian accent or something like that. So it's something really important to listen for. And if you are, if you are learning English, and especially if you're a little bit more advanced and pronunciation is a little bit easy, easier for you, um, I recommend that you try and say it more like, oh, I'm allergic to blank, instead of saying I'm allergic to to whatever. I hope you found that useful. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more English lessons. Um, well, yeah, that's everything for today. I will see you later. Bye.